Hello, this is lesson 8.5, Patterns and Expressions. Our learning goal is to use patterns to show relationships and evaluate algebraic expressions. Learning goals, remember, write these down. You might need to pause this slide. Use patterns to show relationships. Form ordered pairs consisting of corresponding terms from two patterns. Graph the ordered pairs on a coordinate plane and evaluate numerical expressions using parentheses, brackets, or braces. Write these down, pause this video, and then when you're done, you can press play again. Here are some examples. Emily and Austin have the same birthday, but Austin is seven years older. In the table, N represents Emily's age, and N plus seven is Austin's age. Complete the remainder of the table. So, we know that if Emily is five, where are we here? Let me see, find my pointer. Emily is five, that means Austin is five plus seven. So that's five plus seven is 12. So in this case, we would have 12 here, okay, sorry. Um, if Emily is eight, that means that Austin is eight plus seven, which is 15. And if Austin is 20, that means Emily is going to be 20 minus 7, which is 13. Okay, let's move on. So here's a practice problem. Find the rule for the table. So we have P and then we have P plus what? So pause this and see if you can figure out what the expression is or what the rule is for this table. And then when you are finished, you can turn this back on. So we know that we have three, four, and five across the top. So we have 68, 69, and 70 across the bottom. So we know that we have a rule of P plus something. So we could take 68, and subtract it from 3 and we would get 65. So let's write that here. We could take 4 and we could subtract 69 and we have 65. We could take 5 and subtract se from 70 and 70 minus 5 is again 65. So our answer is P plus 60, sorry, 65. That's our rule. Is that what you got? If so, great job. If not, notice where you made your mistakes and go back and make your corrections. Here's another practice problem again. See if you can find the rule for the table. Pause this, and when you think you have the answer, start it again. So we have B equals 31, 42, and 55. And we have our rule as being B minus something. And we have 23, 34 and 47. So we we'll want to see what the difference is here. So 31 minus 23, so I could even just use this table as my subtraction point here. And I go 1 minus 3 I can't do, so I'll go next door and borrow. I have now 11 minus 3, which is 8. Let's see if that helps if I continue subtracting. 42 minus 34, 2 minus 4 I can't do, so I have to regroup. 12 minus 4 is 8, Three, oops, 8, 3 minus 3 is 0. And 55 minus 47, again, I need to borrow. 15 minus 7 is 8. So it looks like B minus 8 is my rule. Is that what you got? If so, great job. If not, go back and see where you made your mistake and make your corrections. And let's move on. So now we want to find the rule for the table again. We can see, go ahead and see if you can analyze this table and figure out the rule and then turn this back on when you're ready. 
Okay, so we can see x equals 18, 21, and 26. And we know our rule is x minus something. So let's see, 18 minus 5 then is 13. 21 minus 8, let's see, 11 minus 8 is, again, 13. And 26 minus 13 is 13. So our rule is x minus 13. All right, now I want you to challenge yourself. You have a total of four parentheses to use. Insert the parentheses where needed to make the number sentence true. So this goes back to our work with the associative property and the distributive property, knowing that what you do in parentheses you want to, be, you want to do first. So think if you could organize these parentheses in a way that would make the number sentence true. We want 5 times 3 plus 2 minus 2 plus 5 times 3, and we want all that to equal 4. Come back to class with your answer, and good luck. Look forward to seeing you then. So we finished up. Review the learning goals. Do you have the learning goals written in your journal? Do you have the practice problems written in your journal? Do you have the challenge problem written in your journal? You have completed Lesson 8.5. See you in the morning.